Master Diviner, you heard our discussion. What do you make of it? What do I make of it? The way of heaven is apparent, but the heart of humanity is often deceptive. Are you asking me to divine their true intentions? Okay, for those of you that play this game or whether or not you haven't played the game yet, this is a playable character and she is, I know, a healer. I'm definitely gonna save for her once her banner is out, but that will be two to three updates from now, I guess. That won't be necessary. The crew has nothing to do with the incident. Of that, I am almost certain. It isn't their intentions that trouble me. All I want is for them to lure out the one we're after. Wasn't that my idea, General? Indeed. Your counsel has always been a great help to me. You may use your discretion on the matters ahead of us. <laughs> Why don't you retire early and I use my discretion full time? <laughs> it is still too soon, unfortunately. If something goes wrong, you'll need a general to take the blame. How could I simply walk away and put you at such risk? If you'd brought me that blade earlier, none of this would have been necessary. Wait, what are you up to exactly? <gasps> Jingyuan, did you let him escape on purpose? No way. Did he really do that? Me? <laughs> I had no idea he might escape. Unlike you, my gaze never travels beyond the horizon. I take full responsibility. The Cloud Knights failed in their duty. Hmm... Okay... There is more into it. I can understand. There's a lot to take care of on the Sinjo. You are bound to miss something. Thank goodness I'm here. On that note, perhaps it's about time you finally nominate me as your successor when the Six Charioteers next convene. Yes, yes, yes. I have to go now. I'll leave this in your overwhelmingly capable hands, Fu Shen. I don't know if they are equal in rank or something. <sighs> there are three things in the world that I can't seem to rid myself of. The troubles of the Sienjo, the papers on my desk, and the weeds in my garden. General, Diviner Fu wants the General's position for herself. Everyone knows that. This is a 5-star character, Ice character with a single target, right? I've already used him in a support option. She is very capable, but her intellect is burdened by a quick temper. I'll retire when she's achieved a better balance. This Stellaron thing is easy. Blade escaped. Now we gotta go get him. Just say the word, and I'll solve this in a flash. I doubt it, bro. This will not gonna be easy. I can understand your impatience, and I know you want to prove yourself. Now is not the time. If you truly wish to become sword champion, you shouldn't be running around brandishing your sword at people, especially not a major criminal. You think I'd lose to Blade? Yeah, you'll lose. I'm saying you need to have patience, Yanqing. Governing Xianzhou is different from a sword fight. The only way to build momentum is to work slowly. Besides, we still don't know who's really moving the chess pieces. There is something we must take care of before making our next move. As long as it remains unresolved, we're at a stalemate. That something is the Stellaron. How did it manage to bypass the Skyfaring Commission's inspections and the Divination Commission's predictions? Where is it now? I say we bring those two Stellaron hunters before Diviner Fu. She'll get an answer out of them in no time. I've asked our friends from the Express to take care of that for us. Worry not, you'll have your moment when the current stalemate is broken. Okay, I have a feeling that 
this character will somewhat um, interfere with the, with us as an express to do our job. I just have that feeling. You are my most trusted aide, and there are some things that I would only assign to you. Speaking of which, Yang Ching. Oh, oh, he's gone. I think he's after us now. <sighs> that boy. Yeah, he's really just an impulsive boy. I suppose it is my fault. I should have given him an opportunity already. A sharp sword can't stay sheathed forever. <laughs> he's gonna go after us for sure. My fear was that this might prove too big a setback. Bigger than his exuberance. <sighs> Madame Yukong has asked me to look after you. Okay, so you'll be our tour guide, I guess? <laughs> Seems like we were destined to be in each other's company. You don't like it? The Skyfaring Commission has reserved rooms for you at the Petrichor Inn. When you finish your business here, how about some tea together? Okay, I was thinking about her reluctancy about it. Her guiding us, so you seem reluctant. No, no. Uh, though I'd appreciate it if you mentioned to Madame Yukong that you got a warm reception from me when you next see her. Better to be busy than idle, I suppose. Hmm, really? Storm, come to Petricor Inn. Ooh, well, here we are. I feel sleepy already. <laughs> As always. <laughs> Wait. Ready for a nap? That's not like... Oh, oh yeah. I totally forgot. She's always up for any adventure. Hmm. That's so very unlikely of you. Okay. Hey, that's not fair. My eyes are peeled this time. I'll make a run for it the second things go wrong. Okay, now she's acting vigilant. Okay, it makes sense. Since the last time we've encountered at Jarilo 6. Uh, jokes aside, did you see Madame Yukong frown at us? I thought her guards were about to jump out of nowhere and throw us in jail. Oh, I'd rather deal with monsters than these big shots. I thought she overheard you saying something. Better keep your mouth shut. Uh, uh, I mean, not that Madame Yukong doesn't have her merits. <laughs> Come on. Don't worry, my lips are sealed. Oh, okay. I hope so. But as her subordinate, I have to say that it's Madame Yukong's duty to keep her guard up. The Law Fu is facing a crisis, and as head of the Skyfaring Commission, she is responsible for the security of the Sienjo's customs and borders. I mean, it to totally makes sense because the entire area is on lockdown. So any intruder or visitor could be a threat. Okay. She's actually a very reasonable old girl in private. Old girl? Okay, we need an explanation about that. They say that many years ago, Madame Yukong was an ace pilot in the Cloud Knights. She was a work hard, play harder type, known for her hot temper and incredible skill. Eventually, she became the head of the entire commission, which required her to learn patience and adopt a meticulous approach to her work. In any case, Madame Yukong instructed me to reserve the best rooms at the inn and have all your expenses covered. She wants to extend the full courtesy of the Sienjo so that all of you enjoy your stay to the fullest. She specifically mentioned that if you wish to buy anything at the inn, be it food or otherwise, just let the innkeeper know. The commission will cover the cost. Oh, okay. 
The commission will cover the cost. Okay, say thanks to Madame Yukon for us. Why don't you go back yourself? What? <clears throat> Seeing as our hosts are so thoughtful, I guess we should help ourselves. Right, Mr. Yang? Okay, Mr. Yang is quite serious at this point. We should focus on our objective first. Seeing as Hellmaster Yukong was extremely reluctant to get us involved, am I right to speculate that the Skyfaring Commission has some leads on the whereabouts of Kafka? Exactly right. The suspect is extremely cunning. She encrypted her transmission and timed her communication. We couldn't pinpoint her exact location. But as cunning as she is, the Divination Commission has managed to find something. What? Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. Wait a minute! Why did she suddenly appear? Oh no. This is getting kind of sus. Our destinations may differ. Oh, okay, okay. The orbits of the stars will eventually converge. See you later. Okay, it's a I think it's a um previous recording that they eventually gathered up. Okay. Is there anything special about what she said? Don't let her words distract you. That's the sound of a device. Oh, that feedback. Okay. So they're gonna locate where she actually is based on the feedback. Uh, which means what exactly? This is a starship. There are all kinds of devices making weird noises. But for them, this is kind of different. Miss March, to the untrained ear, these noises may sound the same, but for the craftsmen of the Artisanship Commission, every machine has a different pitch and melody. The General sent for craftsmen, and they concluded that the sound came from the shipyard facilities in Stargazer Navalia. Now, get some rest and prepare yourselves for the operation ahead. I look forward to seeing you in action. Let's take advantage of the rest. It won't be easy to track down Kafka the Stellaron Hunter. Oh, let's let the Express know how we're doing. Yeah, let's contact Kimiko. More importantly, let's see how Don Hung's doing. <laughs> Ask him what he's up to. Then tell him we're having loads of fun. Okay, for some context, we have... Sir Welt joining us instead of Dan Hung because technically Dan Hung is banned in this area because they have quite a difficult history. It's kind of complicated. Okay, we might as well text Dan Hung. Okay, hey you guys doing all right? Okay, are you okay? What? Message failed to send. Oh. Okay, so his mobile device is off, I assume. You've been standing here for half an hour. It's rare to see you like this. Are you worried about those two? Welt is with them. They should be fine. <sighs> Himiko, did you keep a copy of the Stellaron Hunter's transmission? Can I have a look? Sure. Not to mention, 45 system hours ago, a Stellaron burst occurred on the Lafu. An unexpected calamity, don't you think? 
What exactly are you Stellar on Hunters trying to do? The Cienjo Alliance aren't us. They won't give you time to explain. Once you draw the attention of the hunt, you become their prey. The Alliance will hunt you to the end of the universe. Stop speaking in riddles, Kafka. Say what you have to say. <sighs> it's simple. That Stellaron has nothing to do with us, but the Sienjo is convinced that we're responsible. Stop! Oh no, it's Blade. Do you know him? Yes. The Sienjo is in danger. This man, he... If he's on the ship, then Welt March and her... Everyone is in grave danger. Oh no. This blade is bad. I mean, not really bad. He's capable of doing that much damage to everyone. But... Is he connected to that past you want to escape? Okay, this is what is I am talking about. I... I can't leave them down there. It's just... I'm afraid my burden has finally caught up with me. And that everyone is about to be drawn in. Is there anyone who doesn't carry around a... past burden? She may not remember it, but even a girl as carefree as March has hers. We tread on a path that is hidden from us. The things we see and the trails we blaze all become our baggage. They weigh us down, but they also give us strength to continue the journey. Try not to dwell on it, Don Hung. The Express spends seven standard days at each stop. Its passengers are allowed to do as they deem fit during that time. Pom Pom and I are more than capable of looking after the Express. If there's something you've got to do, do it now. Better than regretting it further down the line. Oh, so he's really going there and find us. This will not end well. And you'll come back and travel with us once this is all over, right? Oh no, he's just plain silent. Okay, I'm using Dan Hung. Oh! <laughs> Wait a minute. I'll go find you folks. Wait, doesn't this area have a signal or something? That's strange. Can't send the message out. The network is down. But some functions still work? Stay where you are. I can handle this. Emergencies should be dealt with by professionals. Okay, I guess this is Su Shang and this is Luocha. Truth of life and death, revealed in an this sanctuary, is but a vision. You're hurt. It's okay. Phew. 
<laughs> this one's strong, all right. Oh no, it's a bigger one. No interest in stoking conflict. The truth of life and death revealed in this sanctuary is but a vision. Supposed to take this seriously? <laughs> oh no! I need to finish this fast. Oh my god! With you two risking your lives for me, could I really stay where I am? Move carefully. Okay, we're gonna get a glimpse of Luocha's gameplay, sort of. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. Take this! Shape of Taishu! Rise, Phoenix! Misery, or I'll go through you! Allow me to... Eternal sleep is not the dead! Will return. It's too late to repent. Okay, that is cool to be honest. of the Cloud Knights. I was just transferred here from the Yao Ching. I did tell you to let me handle it. I don't have eyes in the back of my head. What if I accidentally hit you? Oh, come on. You obviously died <laughs> in in that fight scene. You should be take Obviously, thank him for back backing us up. Forgive me, miss, but you were too busy being hit yourself. It's a good thing I joined the fray. <laughs> exactly. I was protecting you more like. It's a Cloud Knight's job to protect others. And this area is under martial law. I'm escorting all civilians to safety. Follow me. That was some impressive Cloud Knight spearmanship. Which unit are you from? Okay. Um, I'm just gonna shake head. I'm not gonna say anything. Which is kind of... Pretty typical for Dan Hung. He's obviously don't talk that much. Huh. Okay. You're a civilian then. Come with me. Miss Sushang, what exactly has transpired here? In all my trade visits, I've never seen Starskiff Haven in such a state. I uh I can't comment on that. I was just ordered to rescue the civilians. Actually, I have no idea either. Anyway, you two just need to come with me. I think it's classified on her part. 
that she had no idea what's going on. Hey, you're pretty quiet. What's your name? I've got forms to fill out. Can't put your name down as blank. My name is Don Hung. I'm a traveler. I'm on my way to meet up with my friends. I appreciate the help, but I can leave the port on my own. No can do, mister. It's way too late. You won't find anyone at Starskip Haven. If your friends made it out, then they'll already be in the safe zone. No need to worry. You'll see them when we get there. Aren't you going to take my name too, miss? <laughs> okay. <laughs> she, she totally forgot about Luocha. You already said it when we were busy fighting. La... something. Luocha! Is that right? <laughs> I remember it. Okay, Luocha. Hmm. Interesting dictation? Let's go. Stay close, you two. Cloud Knight Sushang will guarantee your safety. Oh, and one more thing. I need you to write your names down later. I don't know too many characters. I might make a mistake. Message not sent? Why not? Maybe they demolished the base stations? For a bad signal or no signal at all? Long-range communication technology is still improving. Perhaps the presence of the Stellaron is affecting signal transmission. Doesn't seem like it. Everything else is working fine. See? In that case, it looks like someone wants to make things difficult for us. Since Kafka's here, I wouldn't be surprised if this turns out to be that Stellaron Hunter Hacker Girl's handiwork. Okay, it makes sense. I totally forgot about Silverwolf again. <laughs> oh, you've arrived. Okay, sorry to keep you waiting. No, no. Only an extra couple of hours. Stargazer Navalia is governed by the Artisanship Commission. It took me a while to sort out our paperwork. I got a sense of the situation on my way back. Just like at Cloudford, Stargazer Navalia's Meridian Pin has malfunctioned. The checkpoint there is abandoned, and the garrison is scrambling to locate the Stellaron. With monsters wreaking havoc and the knights scattered, Stargazer Navalia has become a perfect place for the suspect to hide out. So we've got a bunch of monsters to deal with, an IPC most wanted Stellaron hunter to catch, and we have to do all that on our own without reinforcements? Well, fair enough. This isn't our first rodeo. I was just making small talk. Never mind the details. I wouldn't say you're entirely on your own. <laughs> when you're ready, let's get going. Now what's a hunt without a hound? Kafka is still at large, and the Skyfaring Commission wants this problem to go away. I made a few calls and managed to procure this from the Artisanship Commission. Perfect for hunting down suspects. What? Oh, it's... It's kind of cute. Aww, he's <laughs> so cute! Yeah, just like Peppy. I mean, what can he do exactly? Are we gonna set him loose on Kafka? Yes, and no. This is Deeting, a bionic dog developed by the Artisanship Commission. He has all the five senses of the Foxian race and takes them to another level. Oh, it's a bionic dog. Okay. More or less like an animatronic dog. Be it tracks or scent, as long as he uncovers a trace, he'll follow it all the way to the end. All we need to do is look for any trace left by Kafka. It doesn't matter how good she is at hiding, Deeting will find her. But before we get started, let's play with his settings a bit and get him ready. To begin with, let's set him to scent detection mode. 
Tell Dee Ting to follow the scent of my perfume and see what he can do. Okay. Dee Ting, an ingenious dog crafted by the Artisanship Commission. Use its locality pro feature to find suspicious odors and traces. Hmm. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Use Dee Ting to track down Ting Yun. Um, okay, let's try to use press R. <sighs> we need to follow these sparkly traces to find Miss Ting Yun, right? She's not in a hurry, that's for sure. Playing hide and seek with us while Kafka's still at large? Yeah, it's some sort of a respite, but I'm gonna take it. Let's try using him or it again. Okay, that's kind of cool. It's like using an, an elemental vision in Genshin. Am I right? The traces. Where did they go? Is D Ting malfunctioning? Ah. Uh, <laughs> it seems more like a meow than a wolf. Okay. Got it. He says the wind is too strong here at the port, so it's not easy to follow the scent. How did you even manage to translate that? Wait a minute. How do you know what he's saying? That's just the psychic bond between cute girls and cute puppies. <laughs> Okay, okay, you do you and whatever. <laughs> Using the environment to hide her traces. Our girl from the Skyfaring Commission sure knows how to put up a challenge. Let's look around and see if we can find any other clues. Or we could ask around? Look how busy this place is. Someone must have seen Miss Tin Yoon. That's not cheating, right? We're just collecting intel. That's definitely cheating. We need to use this animatronic robot to its full potential so that it could be useful to us later on. <laughs> okay, that's really cute. Okay, somewhat the traces... Oh, there's an indicator over there. Okay, let's interact with it. A piece of white named card with a bird spreading its wing at a corner. This card belongs to the Amicasador Tingyan. Okay. No doubt this is a tiny clue she left for you, or maybe there are more of them. I think there are two more. Yep, there are two more. There it is. A refined pendant of a fan in the shape of a koi. Okay, it's a fish, but it's left alone in some forgotten corner of the street. They say that in the culture of the Zhangzhou, fish represents affluence. Hmm. You vaguely recall that you have seen the pattern of fish swimming around each other on the fan of Miss Ting Yun. In that second clue. They crumpled up packaging of the tea brand Immortal's Delight. No, Miss Ting Yun, you can't throw trash even for leaving behind clues. Okay. Ting Yun must have left us these clues, right? Deeding should be able to pick up her traces now. Yep, Deeding is working pretty well. Found me. Deeding's quite handy when it comes to tracking, isn't he? Yeah, he sure does. If you pick up traces of Kafka in Stargazer Navalia, just switch him on. Don't let her escape. Who'd have thought that Stargazer Navalia might become so quiet? 
Long were the nights when the clangor of hammers rose to meet the stars. People used to write poems about the shipwrights here. The Law Fu relies on the star skiffs produced here to transport people and goods. Now that work in the shipyard has stopped, our internal transport and outbound flights might also grind to a halt. <sighs> of course. The silver lining is, I don't have to go on as many trips anymore. You don't seem to worry too much about the Xianzhou, Miss Ting Yun. I wouldn't say that. A good businesswoman doesn't wear her heart on her sleeve. Besides, the Alliance has weathered plenty of challenges. We can handle this situation. Just to warn you, if we do run into Kafka, you'll have to do the fighting benefactors. I'd love to help, but there's very little I can do except cheer you on from the sidelines. I mean, that's the favor that Jing Yuan needs from us. So yeah. <laughs> you want to leave all the fun to us? Not a lot of people out there could have fought the Mara struck like you did. I'm only a civil servant. I can't imagine what Kafka would do to me if I were caught in the fray. Or is it because you don't she don't um Kafka don't want to ruin your hair, your tail, and everything that's beautiful in you? Okay, I get it. <laughs> we Foxians don't live as long as the Sanjo locals, but I still want to enjoy the hundred odd years I've got left. You'd do the same in my shoes, wouldn't you? So they are called Foxians. Oh, that's the name of their race. And they live up to a hundred years. Besides, the Madam Helm Master simply asked me to assist you in navigating around Starskiff Haven. It's no different to any other diplomatic mission or delegate reception. I was never much of a fighter, and I'm not one for risking my life either. Getting Ting into your hands is already beyond the realm of my job description. I'll definitely be putting in a few words next time we meet Yu Kong. Oh, really? <laughs> Understood. We won't put you out of your comfort zone, Miss Ting Yun. When we run into Kafka, we'll do the fighting. And the capturing, for that matter. Thank you for showing us the way. Before Deeting can start tracking, you'll have to feed him some leads. If Kafka is hiding in Stargazer Navalia, she'll have left behind traces. Let's spread out and look for them. Leave no stone unturned. <laughs> okay, search for any clues that may re be related to Kafka. So it doesn't mean necessarily we're gonna eventually meet Kafka. Just some clues. Hmm. Hmm. There it is. Immortals delight. Immortals delight. What is that? This isn't a clue. It's just a brand of tea I like. Two cups a day keeps the tiredness at bay. Is this your own clue and not Kafka's? Huh? I could do with a cup once we're done here. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Milk tea twins. Shards of a Cloud Knight's weapon. Something really sharp caused this. It must have been Kafka. She's got a scary sword. Is it a sword or a two headed gun? Weapon shards. Oh, here it is. Ouch. What's this? A jade seal used by the shipwrights. It opens various passages. It looks like someone used it and then destroyed it. Possibly Kafka. <sighs> Chatter jade seal. Okay. I know, I know. Let's go and have a look. Uh, is that a grenade? What's that on the side? 
hide. Uh, it's lipstick. Okay. A small something for the lost. Uh, she's clearly taunting us. We should have enough clues here to get Deeding on the move. No it's time a to lose. Let's give him the scent and let him lead the way. It's a dud grenade. Oh, wait. Are we really gonna confront her right now? I don't know if I'm prepared. I think we've rounded up all our suspicious clues. But did Kafka leave them behind on accident? Or on purpose? I think it's on purpose, knowing Kafka. She's always crafty and cunning. Uh, she sure did put a lot of work into this gag, and I think we're the punchline. Uh, making us run around like jerks? I bet she's loving this. I can almost hear her whispering, Come and get me. That would be suitably Kafka-esque. For sure. Don't forget, she's on the IPC's most wanted list. A fugitive that nobody can seem to pin down. And now we've become her prey while she stalks us in the shadows. I like the fact that she is eventually toying us upon hunting her, which means which means she pretty much controls everything that's happening. Let's go, benefactors. Time is of the essence. We must be close. Okay, let's follow this trail. Oh. The scent. Where did it go? I think we fell into a trap. Oh, when the trace of the hunted disappears, the hunter better think twice. Okay, she's here. It might mean the tables have turned. Damn. I mean, I could have waited for Kafka in her debut banner, but... I don't know if I could save for her once I've gotten Silver Wolf. I don't know. Kafka. These Cloud Knights aren't Mara struck. What did you do to them? Did you bribe them with, um, you know, credit? Just a little persuasion to get them to listen to me. But you know all about that already, don't you? <laughs> or is it Silver Wolf's doing? Oh, shoot. Oh, what a hassle. This place is too far for the Diviner. See you up ahead. My god, that look. Holy crap. Oh, no. So close and yet so far. You'll have to pick up the pace. Uh, there's no way through here. We need to think of a way to cut her off. Don't worry about locked doors, benefactors. We can use the conveyor belts. Oh my god. She's there. I need to... Whoa. Welcome, Astral Expressors. Looks like you caught me. This was all part of your plan, for sure. <laughs> Admit it, Kafka. You planned for us to come here. I didn't plan anything. It was the future. We interfere on countless future possibilities and make the best future a reality. You speak too highly of us, Welt. The Stellaron Hunters are merely Destiny's slaves. <laughs> best future? Best for who? As if you'd consider anyone but yourself. 
If I said best for the universe, would you believe me? <laughs> best for me, naturally. I have a lot to ask you. We're taking you to see the General of the Law Fool. You can profess your innocence all you like, but the General will decide your fate. Oh, thanks. But no thanks. I can't stand moving at someone else's pace. We don't have much time. If I were you, I'd make a move before it's too late. <laughs> okay, are we gonna battle Kafka right now? Oh, we did! Holy crap. Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars! Give these trailblazers your blessing! Time to get vigilant! <laughs> A gift from the stars! <sighs> Evil doer! <sighs> Give you a present! Time for a detailed overhaul. Ha! 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 Are you serious? Ready. Try that again! Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Holy crap! You'll pay for this. Okay, good thing I have Bronya. The time is now. Lend me your strength. Combat is a series of precise machinations. I don't remember inviting you. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend. Crush them! Guest with no manners, huh? Who's the lucky one today? <sighs> Gotta try hard sometimes. Let's try to freeze her. As if it's gonna work. Check out this awesome move! <sighs> nope, didn't work. <sighs> Zoning out. Oh crap. You can't run. Not so fast. Try that again. <laughs> A gift from the stars. Something for everybody. No, not my Asta. You can't run. Watch your feet. Shoot. Try that again. This battle is unavoidable. Evil doer. Who's the lucky one today? <sighs> Give you a present. <laughs> Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. You'll pay for this. Okay, that worked. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> Time is now! Lend me your strength! Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. You're almost there. One at a time! Ready? 
Feeling a little dizzy? Come on. Look out! <laughs> what? My turn. Oh, so I'm I'm being mind controlled and hitting my own teammate. Damn! I never noticed that in the beginning. Wow. With me out here, how can we lose? <laughs> Look at that! Time for a detailed overhaul. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Rudimentary. Your every move has been foreseen by the Omnisia. Zushrin, <laughs> Divination Commission. I'll be taking the criminal from here. Greetings, crew of the Astral Express. This is our first encounter. Though given that I have encountered you in Foresight, perhaps I should say the second. I am Fu Xuan, Master Diviner at the Divination Commission and one of the Six Charioteers. I am just speechless on that cutscene. That was really awesome. Far-flung friends ought to be received with fine wine. But alas, the heavens, earth, and body are not aligned for such an occasion. You'll allow for a postponement of the usual formalities, I trust? We should begin with a matter at hand. What the actual heck is she saying? Okay, she's just showing off with some big and fancy words? No, that's kind of dis dis disrespectful for her. Even my synesthesia beacon can't make sense of what she said. My speech is offensive to you, you need but say. No, it's not offensive. We cannot decipher it. We received an assignment from General Jing Yuan to arrest the Stellaron Hunter. Thank you, Diviner, for coming to our aid, but we must escort the fugitive to the General. An essential. I hold a proclamation from the General here, if you care to see. Upon detaining the Stellaron Hunter, Questioning and all further arrangements are to be undertaken by the Divination Commission. <laughs> Did the General just spare us a walk with Kafka? I knew he was a good guy. Understood. However, the General promised that all intel would be shared with us. We have a right to know anything that Kafka divulges. Oh? Yes, he did. He did promise us that. I go one day without him throwing me under the... Under the where? Under the bus or under the bridge? We won't make things any more complicated than they need to be. We just want to listen in on the questioning. Very well. Urgency demands fluidity. The three of you shall accompany me to the Divination Commission. Okay, ma'am. Uh, can't we do the questioning here? The Stellaron Hunters are slippery. What if she makes a break for it? We shouldn't delay? Okay. While I am here, she will not escape. Only the Divination Commission has the methods to make her talk and bring the truth to light. The time has arrived. We must depart. Please proceed. <laughs> 